You also do a lot of outreach and you have a group. Now, the thing is, is I've kind this is technically the first time we've met speaking to each other, but yeah. we've kind of known each other through uh, my mailing list and your mailing list for like yeah. the past couple of years. And yeah. you actually reached out to me and said, you're a musician. You should join our Facebook group. And yeah, yeah. and you manage that. Now that's, that's a lot of stuff to manage. And also doing like reaching out to people, like you're very active. So uh, oh, I, try. I just think about the fact that that you want to spread joy, I guess, in the same way I, well, we were doing with the poetry zine It's like that's how you find other people and, and, and learn new things. So mm -hmm. by us all being together and there's something about music people. I've been talking about that a long time. Bloggers do that. Yeah. Whereas music and musicians, we don't. And yeah. I don't like that. I guess that's the thing. That's a good point. I don't like bloggers do that. Bloggers say, you know, hey, let's get a group. Let's share each other's posts. Let's, you know, follow each other on Pinterest. Uh, musicians, we all have, you know, outlet, you know, things that are out and we're not sharing. We don't have a common playlist. We don't. So, I mean, I actually, we actually have two groups. We have the Funky Happy People, which is sharing just music, you know, like mm -hmm. Gladys Knight and Pips, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever music videos or music, you know, people for yesteryear or new stuff or whatever, because we like music. Right. Mm -hmm. And then we have the DIY Rockstar, which is people trying to make music or making content. It's kind of right. broader, but yeah. 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 And I don't know why we don't do that more often. So it's really just introducing yourself to, you know, new kid in class. Hey, welcome. Come on in. Right. You know, I think summer what? happens with that is that I think the music industry sometimes gets people thinking that there are a limited amount of spots right. for mm. people to be successful. So they start feeling like we're all competing maybe for the same spot. So seeming like, you know, hey, there's only so many of us that could, you know, make get it to make it into that one spot. And so um, a lot of times I think it makes people a little bit more protective of, hey, I, you know, I got to hold on to what I can do, right. information. So like, that, if you it's know, a country music right. spot, I'm not, if there's something that, that I'm, especially if it's something we're not going to use anyway, right. to me, it's better to share it with the group. Right. You know, or even if it is something, hey, I'm, we're going to this, you know, we're going to, you know, log right. on for this. Yeah. Hey, maybe this is something you're interested in. Or, right. You know, I don't know. Just but, seems uh, simple. But the DIY thing is more about finding your own tribe. Yeah. You know, that, mm -hmm. that yeah. there's a spot for everybody. Yeah. You know, and so I, I think that, and that to me is a different, it, it's a paradigm shift for some people yeah. that are involved in music to, to think about it that way that, hey, no, there's a spot for everybody. You know, usually people who are a fan of music listen to more than just one, one artist. Right. You know, Even they if they love artists, one right. artist, they're not just only going right. to listen to that yeah, artist. If you're, right. hip -hop, if you're a person who's into hip hop, you're not just listening to one hip hop artist. Yeah. You're listening to tons of them. Yeah. So, I mean, but it's, it's kind of, you know, you know, changing that mindset, just that and whole that's paradigm, even you know, amongst so. our friends. It's like we realize that even our friends who make music, they're not in any most of our groups or you know what I'm saying? They're just not because we've all been raised that same way. There's one person, there's one job and we're all going for the same job. Like, really? We don't even write the same type of song. Right. So <laughs> I don't you know, whatever, you right. know, but but there are seven billion people on the planet. Somebody is going to join. And so that's that's the way I look that's at it. Exactly. Right. Yeah. yeah. How how difficult is it to manage a group? I've never managed one before. I'm always curious as to how big of an undertaking that is. Well, right now it's not because it's probably not as active as it should be. I try to log on every day mm -hmm. um, and at least look at people's and go to their, you know, if they have a YouTube video or whatever. Um, but trying to get people to post is the thing. Yeah, a lot of people it is. Things, but I mean, I'm guilty of it, too. I'm in your group and I haven't posted anything in a really long time. <laughs> I know. I've shared, but you know, that's my way of doing it too. Kind of the branch across the aisle, like don't feel, cause I know a lot of groups, you know, we post out there and they'll slap us down. Oh, this is denied because it's mm -hmm. not about guitars. Or, you know, yeah. again, that's keeping it too small. To me, it's about content creation. So if you, at first I had it open for authors and, you know, if you make paintings, if you, but whatever your content is, you're still a DIY rock star. You're still trying to build a creative oh, empire. Yeah on your own. And to me, this is a way of us doing it together. If I'm making t-shirts, you may be a visual artist, but if I share information about getting t-shirts made, that might be helpful to you. Yeah. yeah. So to me, it doesn't make any sense not to share. I don't know. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, 
the same thing applies to anybody that creates something like it, whether I talk to a writer or that's why I'm always curious. Like when I do have people on this show, like say they're uh, I, like say an author or say uh, somebody who's a sculptor and maybe people listening are like, Oh, well I'm more interested in illustration. So I'm not going to listen to that one. But the thing is, is the struggles and the things that they try to accomplish are still the same background. You're still trying yeah. to put the same yeah. things out there and you never know what kind of idea I've, I've learned many different ideas from talking to people of different backgrounds uh, in creativity and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And yeah. The, it's all, and it's all coming from a different standpoint going, Oh, over here, we do this in this field. Right. And, yeah. and it's like, Oh, I never thought of that. Yeah. You right. can do that. You know? And, right. and you all of a sudden the things start moving and like you get unblocked and there's like a new opening that shows, yeah. Oh yeah. You can try this thing and it could apply to this other thing that I'm doing. I love yeah. that. I can't think of a specific example off the top of my head. And I keep saying the thing with the thing. I wish no, I could actually make a real example. Right. <laughs> that knowledge transfers over. So yeah. Yeah. It's, if, if you're a creator, you like you said, you're going to have similar struggles. Why not share what you know? Mm -hmm. And all we're doing is sharing our journey. I, if When we first started, I think I was more of the, you know, this is the right way to do it. And I'm like, you know what? Nobody knows the right way. Not no. even the experts. Not even if you go to college and you get a degree in it, you still don't know the right way. No. Otherwise, major labels would have hits all the time. Right. So yes. obviously the experts don't know anything anyway. Right. Yeah. So it's about your journey. What are you doing to advance whatever it is that you're trying to do? 